welcome back to my channel so I do apologize that I haven't been um, filming a video for like ages because I haven't filmed one in like three months so I do apologize about that but I'm back and I'm back with a new video because it is very exciting because Strictly Come Dancing is back and yeah it is back next well next month and it is very exciting because it's my favorite show and if you haven't seen Strictly Come Dancing um, it is where pros and celebrities get put together and the pros teach celebrities how to dance. So dance like the Charleston, Tango, Argentine Tango, the Salsa, etc, etc. One minute, quite thirsty. So yeah, and then they go on to try and win the glitter ball. So, today I'm going to do a video where I'm going to predict and who's going to be put with who and I've got this idea of Joe Sugg so make sure you go and watch his, his video because it is, it is quite interesting and mine's, mine are sort of different to his but yeah, Joe, if you don't know who Joe Sugg is he's a quite famous YouTuber so yeah and he was like last year with Diane and they're together which the yeah so yeah make sure that you like comment subscribe to my channel comment down below who's your favorite dancer like your pro dancer mine is diane and aj um because i think they just stand out and just amazing dancers so yeah um like i said hope you enjoy the video and let's get on with it so the first like pairing i've put together is diane <laughs> and chris so chris obviously is comedian and diane is hilarious so I put these two together because I feel like they could do great things, but they could just have fun on the dance floor. So yeah, so I put Diane and Chris together because they can just, just have fun with it. I feel like that shit that comes down to is about having fun. Like you can, obviously you have to be serious, but you can just have fun with it. And I feel like they could just do great things. So yeah. So the next one is Mike and Jeanette. So Jeanette is quite short. Obviously with um, parents it's about height difference. And I put Mike with Jeanette because um, their Mike is quite short and she's quite short so I feel like it could work. So that is why. So the next one is Anton and Annika. So I think Joe put this on his video like together. But I'm not sure, I can't remember. But I think it's just like, a a pairing that will probably happen so that's why I put them together so the next pairing is Nadia and David so if you have watched Strictly Nadia I think she's one of the tallest um, like pro dancers well not she's not that tall I'd say but she's tall um, so yeah and I was trying to look for a picture on, for, of David um, to see if he was like kind of like the same so I put those two, two together I'm not sure about that one but yeah, uh, hopefully I've done all right. <laughs> so the next one is Emma Barton and Alias. So there is two Emmas on the show this year. And there's Emma Barton and em Emma Weymer. Um, and Emma Barton is the EastEnders actress. So I put her as Alias because I feel like they could do great things. Alias is a kind, or I think she seems kind, and he wants to thrive and get his partner where they should be. So that's why I put Alias with Emma. Uh, yes. So the next one is Johannes and Emma Weymouth. So if you don't know that Gorka and Graziano are not getting a partner this year, unfortunately, because I don't, I, I just don't know why, but it is quite sad because um, I feel like they're both great dancers. But um, but obviously Johannes and Neil haven't had a partner this year, so <laughs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed, they do get a partner because they're both incredible, incredible dancers. Um, and I feel like they could do great things. So I put Johannes and Emma Weymouth together because I feel like, like I said, Johannes can do great things and he has like he could show his choreography and like what he can create. So I feel like they could do great things. So yeah, and like I said, he was an amazing dancer. Then the next one is Neil Jones and um, Alex Scott. So I put these two together because I feel like it could be a, p a pairing that could happen, but I'm not sure. So, but like I said about Johannes, Neil is an amazing dancer and I feel like he could do great things 
and I'm excited to see if it, they both of them get a partner this year, so fingers crossed. So I put those two together, Neil, Alex and Johannes and Emma, so fingers crossed. So next pairing I put is OT and James Cracknell. I put these two together because maybe height difference, I'm not sure, but I feel like OT, she is quite like she is like a teacher that just wants to get things done from like BTs, from like from BTs and stuff that she's quite strict, but she's like, you know, like a good strict, I guess. Um, so yeah, I put those two together because I feel like it could happen, like I said. But OT could do great things, and she wants her partner to be an amazing dancer. So yes. So the next one is Catherine and Giovanni. Um, that's my Italian accent. I hope you liked it. <laughs> I need to stop. Um, yeah, I put Catherine Tilsley. Obviously, she's the Coronation Street actress. And I put these two together because Giovanni, I feel like he did great things. He is an amazing dancer. Um, yeah, he is an amazing dancer, and I feel like he could do great things with Catherine. And I feel like Catherine looks like an amazing dancer. I feel like she could be an amazing dancer. So. Um, yeah, and I've just seen on Twitter that like people want them to be together, so yeah, that is why. So the next one is, is quite a curious one that I've put together, Amy Dowden and Corinne. So yeah, I'm not sure about this one, but I feel like because Amy deserves to be in a final, like she deserves to be in that final. So I feel like Amy... I think, I'm not sure, I feel like they could be together as a partnership. I'm not sure, at least if there's a cute, like, one that I'm be like, I'm not sure, but it could happen, I'm not sure. So, yeah, I put those two together. The next one is Kevin Clifton and Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> so, um, I think I should put these two together because it might happen, like I've said, it could be a likely pairing, I'm not sure, but... I feel like Kevin could teach some good things. So yeah, that's why I put those two together. The next one is Karen Clifton and Dev Griffin. So this one, I did actually try and find a picture of Dev to see if height difference. Um, I think Karen, she's not that tall, but she's like not like short. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I put these two together because Karen is like, she seems like a lovely person and I feel like they could do great things. And um, yeah, Karen's choreography is absolutely incredible. So yeah, I'm hoping these two will be together. So the next one is AJ Pritchard and Saffron Barker. So I think it's, a, let's just all say, it is a likely pairing because Saffron is the youngest contestant this year and AJ is the youngest pro. So yeah, it just, it just seems like a likely pairing and like the height difference works because I think AJ is quite, he is quite short. I have met him before, like, he is quite short. Like, <laughs> no, he's not short, short, but he's like, like, comparing to his brother Curtis, like, if you saw a picture of Curtis and AJ together, like, AJ is just tiny blessing, but I love him. <laughs> love him. Yeah, but I think Saffron and AJ could actually get into the final this year, like, fingers crossed, because if you haven't watched Strictly Wilds, AJ has been on. He hasn't been in the final for three times. He's got to the semi-final, but he hasn't got to the final. I was just like, <laughs> yeah, like just get to the final, AJ. Like you deserve. He deserves to be in that final. Like he's such an amazing dancer. Like I just, I just adore him. I just adore him. So I just adore that guy. And yeah, I love him. Love him. Shout out to AJ. <laughs> Do some great things. So the last pairing that I've got is Jamie Lang and Cassia Jones. So I feel like, like Chris Ramsey, Jamie is, I think he's quite funny. I haven't seen like, any like, videos of him, but I think I've probably seen him on TV, so I'm not sure. But he, is seem, he just seems like a really nice guy and he seems quite funny. And Cassia, um, yeah, and Katia, she's quite funny as well, like from like VTs, like previous VTs. And I feel like Katya could, like, Katya's choreography is absolutely incredible. So I feel like she do, they could do great things together. So, the, this leaves Will Bailey, either with Luba or the new pro Nancy. So, Luz, uh, Luba hasn't had a partner this, like, 
since she's been on. So fingers crossed she does get a partner, but there is Nancy and uh, oh, the street red carpet was last night and they just looked all absolutely amazing and Nancy just like seems such a genuine like lovely person and I can't wait to see her dance but I don't know who's gonna get a partner either out of these two. So so um yeah I'll be able to put Will Bailey either with Libra or Nancy so I'm not sure who's gonna get a partner who knows but I hope one of them like gets to dance like because Libra is an amazing dancer and I can't wait to see Nancy dance <laughs> that rhymes <laughs> um, so that's all of them so let's just say it's quite interesting it is different comparing to mine like, and Joe's video but it is quite interesting I'm hoping I'm hoping that I get Diane and Chris Mike and Jeanette Anton and Annika um, Catherine and Giovanni um, and AJ and Safran and that's hope fingers crossed that I hope I get uh, I'm not sure about the other ones but it's just a prediction I don't know I don't know who's going to be with who but these are just what I think so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe and Strictly is back and I'm very excited and the launch show is on the 7th of September so make sure you go and watch it because I'll be watching so yeah I can't wait to see all the dancers and all the pros and judges celebrities everything everything so yeah and I'll see you soon bye